Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be installing a wig that's a little bit different. It's my first time trying a wig like this. I'm kind of nervous. Um, I'm going to be trying a V-part wig. You guys may or may not have heard about it. I believe it's like the new wig on the market that everyone's trying to promote or that they want to promote. So I'm going to be trying it out for you guys. I did like slip it on a little bit of my braids just to see how it was going to look or how I'm going to put it on. And... I saw the potential. I saw the potential. So we're gonna hope that it goes right. I checked out a couple of videos of other YouTubers like installing theirs and they had their hair like not braided, just like parted in the middle and then like in a bun. But I'm not taking my braids down because I have more wigs to put on. So we're gonna try to make it work with braids. So let me just show you guys the wig. This wig is from Clay Hair. Not sure the link, but it will be in the description box below. So on the inside you just have like a whole bunch of combs like you have four two combs right here two combs right here um comb back here right here right here right here and then you have like an adjustable strap in the back as well it's like a netting type of material um let me get kind of close can you guys see that give me a u-part i mean it's basically like a u-part wig but it's actually like v-shape do this all these combs don't pull my hair i hate when that happens so okay the key to making it look real from what I've gotten from videos is you need to pull these combs in like pretty close. Now you also, I feel like I look weird talking like this, you also can do this with um, the smallest amount of leave out or no leave out. I'm going to be doing the no leave out method because I can't do leave out because I have um, braids. So I'm going to look into this mirror and just like see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take these two little combs right here and just stick them into my braids. Um, I'm not going to clip them because it kind of hurts for my braids, but I'm going to clip the front ones. So then I'm going to take this, this one, and like have it right on my part. So you see it's like super close to my part. And then take this side and do the same. Um, let me see. I feel like I want it to be a little bit closer. So I'm gonna pull it a little bit closer to my um, hairline. meets like your scalp I guess or close to your scalp to like hide the um, clips and stuff wash this and I let it air dry so it's not staying like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my brush well first I'm gonna take my fingers and run them through it just to make it bigger and make it look a little bit more natural uh, I also did my edges a little bit just to make it look a little bit more natural you know it backwards I don't know I just like my forehead looks huge like this I'm gonna go in and just kind of like fix the length because I don't really like how that's looking like that I don't 
like it looks weird like definitely think this would look way better if like I had leave out but I'm like I can't but I can't do leave out because well you know what whenever I push it see the potential in it I don't know though like I'm just like I just love lace fronts because all these like innovative wig, all these like innovative wigs and like different techniques just don't work for me so that's why I always just stick with the lace front I think I'm gonna leave it at this because there's not really much more that I can do to like tweak it like I don't really know what more to do I don't think I don't know I just don't think it looks very, I don't know. I don't know if it looks very realistic. If this is like the type of wig that you're into, like if you're into like you parts and invisible parts and all that type of stuff, then this would definitely be the wig for you. But if you are a frontal girl or a closure, you're probably gonna have a hard time adjusting to this. Cause I'm like, give me a lace front, give me a lace front so I can cover. So, cause it's making, I feel like it's making my forehead look like extra long. I don't know though. I don't know, like I feel like there's a way <laughs> to make it look real, like really, really good, like a wig or something, or like your natural hair, but I just can't figure it out. I feel like if I had to leave out, it would go amazingly, but like I said, I can't leave out. I'm not taking my braids down, <laughs> so this is gonna have to be it. Um, it's a good idea though, like if you're really into stuff like this, if you're really into hair like this, it's a really great idea. It saves time, you know, you can just throw it on and be out the door once you get the hang of how you want to style it. So that's going to be it for this video. There's not really much more I can do to it. Um, I did cut it a little bit. Maybe if I added like layers or something. It's really just up here that's looking weird to me. I'm definitely going to play around with this some more. Or maybe one day whenever I have like some leave out, or I have my hair down, I'm going to try to slip this back on again and like see if I can like play with it a little more to see if I can make it look more realistic. But yeah, definitely a time saver wig. It's a beginner friendly wig. Um, if you're just getting into wigs and you don't want to start with closures and lace fronts, definitely the wig for you. I mean, it's it's cute. It's just up here that I'm just like not a fan of. But the curls are cute. I love the curls. I didn't even put foam or anything in them. I just let it air dry. So I have all the hair details linked down below for you guys. Um, hair, I'm going to have a link to Clay's website. I'm going to have my depop link as well if you guys didn't know i do sell my used wigs um after i make a video on them i sell them i do want to get into selling a new new i do want to get into selling brand new customized wigs as well so you guys can choose between if you want to go like with the used wig or the um new wig of course when i do start selling new wigs they will be priced a little bit higher and i also do want to create my own site to sell them on because depop they be taking your money with those fees. They be taking your money. But yes, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.